Hey guys, so today you and I are going to talk about being stuck. So let's get into it. So the question in question was, Frederick, I have lost my motivation after working on Freed Code Camp. What should I do? I've done all of the required lessons and after I arrived at the seventh bonfire challenge, I couldn't get past it. I've been trying for three days. I don't w want to search on Google. Well, I, I suppose you should, if that's the case, like just give up, dude. Like this, this job is not for you. It's very clear to me. Because uh, if you've been trying for three days and you, for some reason, have decided that you don't want to search on Google, then there's no, uh, you're fresh out of luck, my friend. Holy shit, you're fresh out of luck. Uh, this is the life. This is your life now. This is what we are, what programmers do literally every single day, every single day, and the only time it becomes bearable is when you get so good at it that you don't have to search Google as much because you unfortunately have already done it so many 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 times that you remember the stuff instead. Uh, so yeah, you're pretty much fucked if you can't solve the problem. Now the good part is that you realize this now. This is very good because now you haven't even gotten to the point where you're doing this for money and you will get fired if you can't solve the problem. Now, I mean, if you're really lucky, you will be able to post something on a forum or something like that and get some answer there, or you might have some coworkers who might be able to help you out. But if you're up, if you're in the roughest of the situations, which is basically you work alone and you don't know how to do it, uh, you're just going to have to keep your nose to the grindstone t until either you sort of figure out what to do or your manager starts asking really, really uncomfortable questions like, why aren't you done? And then they fire you when they realize that you can't solve the problem. Uh, that's usually, that, that, that is literally how it will go. And this is the thing that is completely, completely and utterly ignored and lost in translation for well, anybody who wants to go and learn software development, this is the this is the rough part. This is the stuff that nobody tells you about. The fact that you like, it doesn't matter if you can't solve the problem. You have to solve it. There's no discussion. Whatever it is, because if you don't, you're worth like the, the company can't progress. Like this, this is why you get hired to solve problems, and that's the. The, th that is really, especially when you're a junior developer, that is so fucking tough. I, I, it's horrible. It is so horrible. The only silver lining is that if you're really lucky, you get into a company where they understand what the different levels of difficulty on different tasks. So if you're in a company that actually has other so software developers and they have some experience hiring software developers well then they will know that certain tasks is well you, they will give you pr they will provide you with senior coworkers or someone who can kind of help you rubber duck or get you through the thing or so forth but uh, that's not the case that's not the reality for all developers some junior developers get put into an environment where as I said, if you're lucky, you can find some way of sort of fixing it. Um, but in some case, uh, in a lot of cases, you just have to keep on trying, and you you really have no option here because uh, they're paying you to solve this problem. Even and worst ki worst part is sometimes the sometimes the the problem really is so hard that you can't actually solve it, and they're too stupid to understand that there are l different levels of programmers and you can't just m like you can't ask a junior software developer to solve certain problems because it's vastly out of like what they are able to do uh, but you as the stakeholder you simply don't know you've hired a s s someone who uh, and given them tasks that is like it's not uh, it's uh, uh, you, you you don't know what you need because you don't understand how the work or how to do the work or how it wor how software development works so you hire someone you think sort of is the thing that you you need but in reality you need someone who is much much more advanced and the junior in turn of course then I mean you're both it's a it's an education problem neither side knows what the other side needs and there's a if there's a mismatch between these two uh, 
that's where you end up. So what I want you to take away from this is that if you can't make it through cold camp after three, three days of trying, uh, that's not you know that's not the end of the world. I have been on tasks where I've had I've set, I've been f stuck for days, like d days as well, and. The thing is, the, the, the one thing I, I am actually concerned about is that you say that you don't want to search on Google anymore or like go to Stack Overflow. Tough shit. This is, this is, yeah, this is what a software developer has to do. No, there is no quitting. There is getting the stuff to work. That is, what is, that is the only option you have. And the way that you do that is, if you're lucky, you're in a company where you have coworkers or someone you can rubber duck with or someone who can like, so, and so forth. And this is why I tell people it is very important. It is the biggest and most important thing you can do for your career in the early days. Get coworkers, work in teams, work in software teams, because this sort of stuff is the so exactly the sort of stuff that I'm talking about. If you get stuck and you don't know how to solve the problem, you're fucked because you have no one to talk to. If you're lucky, you can post things on the forums and you might get an answer a few minutes, in a few minutes, in a few hours, in a few days. Uh, so it's not an ideal situation, but the, the, the one constant that you can really bring with you is that there is no giving up because then you get fired. And if you feel like just after going through some basic coding boot, uh, boot camp uh, exercises that this is, well, this is not something that you want to do practically every day, then this industry, this job is not for you because this is the daily grind. You, what you're experiencing right now is the daily thing. Good news is after a lot of work and usually years of doing that, you will start learning things to a point where you don't have to look up things as much because you've already figured out how it works and then things flow much more fluently, but that takes time. Uh, usually a lot of time. Have a great day.